Hello, welcome to new video. Evil one. This is M5 Stick C Plus, and this device is very often compared with Flipper Zero. But I also decided to make, let's say, evil example or pranking sketch using this awesome device. I will call this evil flipper zero cousin. At first this device looked like nice and polite clock. But when moon is full and the stars are bright and I don't know this device will turn off any TV. Yes, you can use this device to prank your friends, parents, kids or I don't know. And yes, this device will turn on any TV you want. Because inside is TV be gone sketch or code. I always share my source code. I've been working on this example for a while and I even had to modify some libraries to make everything work properly. For beginners it can sometimes be challenging to use my code because it requires configuring the Arduino ID, installing necessary files and so on. However, I will show you a simple way to install this example on your M5 Stick C Plus 2 without the, the Arduino ID and we will use tool called M5 Burner. So to burn my example to your M5 Stick C Plus 2 you will need M5 Burner, I will post link in description, you will download it and install it. It looks like this and here we can choose different M5 stack boards but you will choose Stick C and here you can f find many examples but you will use this Volos Projects Evil Clock and you will go to Burn and Start. Of course you will need to plug your M5 stick C plus 2. And that's it. Very easy. And if you don't own M5 stick C plus 2, you can buy it here. I will also post a link in description. And don't forget to subscribe and like and share and check links. So let's check my sketch or program. So at first this seems like normal pocket watch. You can check time and date and after 10 seconds device will go to sleep to, to save a battery and we can wake it using this main button. With this button I can also use this as stopwatch and when a stopwatch is on device will not go to sleep so stopwatch is basically start stop reset start stop reset with each button press my seconds will also reset to 10 seconds here is another push button. This push button is used to set brightness. And when I change brightness, value will be stored in EEPROM. So if device is powered off, when I turn it on again, it will remain at the same brightness. Here is another button. And this button is usually power button, but in this case it is used to set time, date, set region and turn on or off this buzzer. So if you don't want to listen this beeping, you can turn it off in this set menu. So set menu looks like this. We can change 
time, we can change minutes, seconds, date. I, I change values with this push button B. And here I can change region. I can set region to Europe and North America. If I change uh, region to North America, my time will also be in this format. 6.22, not 80.20. And I can also turn off that beeper. Okay, pretty simple. And now I will show you hidden feature. Yes, I forgot to mention that uh, here you can see uh, seconds also in this tiny clock and also this tiny number. Uh, here we can see battery. This device have a very good power management chip so we can get very accurate voltage of battery. And yes, now hidden feature. Here we have some bar graph and as I tilt my device this red dot will move because M5 stick C plus also have built-in accelerometer so when I tilt M5 stick C plus 2 this red dot will move and when these two red dots are aligned and when stopwatch is on zero, when dots are aligned and stopwatch is zero, if I press, this device will turn on any TV because the here is inside is infrared LED and this device will emit bunch of different infrared codes and turn on any TV. Let's see how this works in real life. I need to say that code is not completely mine. I um, programmed a user interface and uh, all the logics, push buttons and everything, but uh, code uh, uh, related to TV be gone, to turning on and off TV is from this GitHub and from user Ah, Green Pearl uh, Huber. Let's call it Huber. So this is great code and you can use it even on, on any ESP32 device. You will need, of course, infrared LED. And I will put this link in description. So feel free to check this great repository. Also, don't, don't afraid that this will work only in Europe and North America because let me see we can see that e EU Europe region is Europe Middle East Australia New Zealand and part of Africa and then North America is North America Asia and rest of the world so uh, this code will work practically any anywhere and I need to say that uh, both if I set both region um, both region will work for my TV and that's it that was my first time I um, used M5 burner and it is very good tool because now now everybody everyone can try my examples for M5 stack boards. For beginners it's very hard to set Arduino IDE, IDE and to find all the libraries. And now 
people can just try my example by uh, using this great tool. And if you want to modify my code, to modify my uh, sketch or program, I will still put uh, my GitHub repository, my code on in description. And like always, if this was useful to you, if this is revolutionary for you, if you needed this so badly, if I helped you a lot, if you like my t-shirt, you can buy me coffee. Batman mug is empty. Thank you and goodbye.